Welcome again to a new lesson, which is related to ENG 102, Unified Track, and we'll focus today on Unit 11, The Environment. Lesson 2, Waste Not, Want Not. The objectives of the lesson today, number one, identify vocabulary used for containers and materials, two, read for specific information and reference, Three, review the concept of phrasal verbs. The first question in this lesson is to classify the words in the box in, into the right category. So you have two categories, material and container. In the box, you have a list of words. I want you to classify them, but let's read, it, read them together before you start. Word number one, cupboard. Paper, leather, jar, plastic, cooper, pot, silver, envelope, and bucket. So you have two minutes. Think of the words, classify them, and then I'll show you the answers. Here is the model answer. So the words or vocabulary related to material or fabric are number one, leather, paper, plastic, cooper, and silver. Words related to container, cupboard, bucket, jar, envelope, and pot. This is an activity related to the reading. We'll read it together, and then I'll give you time to answer the questions. Question number one, what does the pronoun at line three refer to? What is the main point behind the packaging industry? Three, the verb stagnate in the passage line four probably means A, to stop growing, B, to grow faster, C, to fill sharply. Number four, packaging waste is not inevitable Inevitable means A, can be stopped, B, cannot be avoided, C, cannot gathered. So let's read the text together, and then I'll give you time to answer the questions. Less packaging, less waste, less plastic, and more frequent reuse of materials. These are the main themes for sustainability in the packaging industry. Packaging waste represents a significant part of our trash, even if its weight tends to become lighter. In fact, the number of packaging units to stagnate decrease 
slightly in the last decade. According to a study, this decrease is largely due to changes in our lifestyles, substitution of glass by plastic and steel in this sector, lighter materials, and the increasing awareness of different bodies. Environmental officials cannot stop at this observation. Packaging waste is not inevitable. It is up to all of consumers, producers, to continue changing our practices and us. The goal is to look for solutions in our lifestyles that limit the risk for the environment and achieve the goals of sustainable development. So you have three minutes. Read the passage again and answer the previously shown questions. Here are the answers. So question number one, what does the pronoun at line three refer to? It refers to packaging waste. What is the main point behind the packaging industry? Less packaging, less waste, less plastic and more frequent reuse of materials, or you can just say to save the environment. Question number three, the verb stagnate in the passage line four probably means to stop growing, which is, number, which is letter A. Number four, packaging waste is not inevitable. Inevitable means cannot be avoided, which is letter B. So the third part of this lesson today, I'll focus on phrasal verbs. Now, phrasal verbs contains or refers to a combination of a verb plus a preposition or a verb plus an adverb. Now, I'll give you some examples of prepositions, for example, in, on, or at. Adverbs like across, ahead, and forward. So once you combine all the words together, it will give you or create a different meaning. Let's have a look at the Example, for example, cut down. I really must cut down the expenses of fuel and car maintenance. The meaning of cut down here is to reduce the amount or number of something. Example number two, find out. For example, I don't know where he lives, but I'll find out for you. Find out means to discover learn or verify something. 
Now you have two types of phrasal verbs. It can be uh, transitive or intransitive. When a phrasal verb is transitive, it means that it takes an object. When a phrasal verb is intransitive, it doesn't take an object. Let's focus on some examples to clarify the meaning. F example number one, take off your jacket. Okay, so as you can see, your jacket is the object. Now, can I say, take your jacket off? Yeah, I can say, this is correct. Does it change the meaning? No, it doesn't. So I can say, take off your jacket or take your jacket off. Number two, when a phrasal verb is intransitive, it doesn't need an object. Let's have these examples. Where did you grow up? Number two, you are doing really well, so carry on like this. So carry on here means continue. So these phrasal verbs doesn't or don't need an object, as you can see. Okay. It's time for practice. So you have this question in front of you. It contains two tasks. Task number one, match the sentence halves. So you, ha you have to match the, the halves one to six with A to F. So after matching, I want you to write the letter T if the verb in the sentence is transitive. And write, please, um, the letter I if the verb is intransitive. So I'll give you two minutes. Think of the words and the sentences and match them. Okay, let's check your answers together. Now, sentence number one is transitive, which means it takes an object, which is my bedroom. Sentence number two is intransitive. Three, intransitive. Sentence number four is transitive. Number five is intransitive. And number six is transitive. So let's have a look on the sentences. Sentence number one, my mom asked me to tidy up my room. As you can see, tidy up is a transitive phrasal verb, which takes an object, um, which is my bedroom. Number two, I usually wake up at around seven o'clock. There's no object, so wake up is intransitive. 
Three, she tripped over in the street and hurt her knee. Intransitive. Number four, Sarah come and join in the celebration, which is transitive. Five, put this sweater on and you'll soon uh, warm up. Intransitive. Number six, could you clear up the dishes, please? This is transitive phrasal verb. That's all what we have for today. Thank you for watching.